Federal officials worried about a possible spike in cases in the Charlotte area. Now an unreleased federal task force report says officials need to keep a close eye on what's happening here. This report obtained by NBC News comes as the city and state begin to reopen the economy. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Scott Wickersham. I'm Erica Bryant. Our Tina Terry went to the state's top health official for some answers. Uh, Tina joins us now. Tina, she said this is exactly why we're reopening the way we are. Uh, yeah, Erica, the information inside of that report might seem jarring to some, but she says it really did not catch health officials off guard, and it proves why it's so important to move slowly when reopening North Carolina. We need to be measured and cautious as we go. We have virus here. And Dr. Mandy Cohen, North Carolina's top health official, talking about this leaked White House task force report dated May 7th and obtained by NBC News. It places both North Carolina and the Charlotte area on a watch list saying cases in the state spiked by more than 32% in just seven days and cases in the Charlotte area, including Mecklenburg, Union, York and other nearby counties spiked by more than 268% in just seven days. Cohen hinted the report didn't catch state leaders off guard and the data explains why leaders have taken a measured approach to reopening. Carolina has been in a different place than a number of other states that saw an initial surge and for us it's more of a leveling. As the state approaches phase two of reopening, she says leaders and the public will have to continue that measured approach in getting back to normal. We don't know exactly how this virus is going to be here in North Carolina. Yeah, Mecklenburg County itself is not included inside of that federal report. It's not on the watch list. In fact, the report says Mecklenburg County is stable, and that goes right along with what county officials have been telling us. They've been telling us that there are fewer hospitalizations from this virus and that things are much better than they were before that stay-at-home order was issued. Back to you at the desk. Yeah, a lot of information that helps people better understand why they're making the decisions they're making. Thank you, Tina.